tonight, these 58 crosses, they are now back in Las Vegas honoring the victims of 1 October. And reporter Austin Carter right now is live at the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. And Austin, the return of the signs is coming with some pushback from the county. Yeah, Trisha, it sure is. You know, the creator of these crosses, Greg Zanis, he really has been a treasure to the valley, but he's now been caught up in a little bit of drama. That's because the county says that these crosses are a safety hazard. The county's reached out to him to move them, but for now they remain, hoping to be a beacon of light for the community. For the second year, a piece of hope is back at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. And they're just being honored right here in the greatest spot in the whole city. Across a picture and a heart, 58 of each to remember those gunned down two years ago at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. What I'm trying to do here today is show the victims that we love them. Greg Zan has handmade each one, driving them in from out of state Monday. And this isn't the first set of crosses he's made for the 58. He's done it two years in a row. Here's him back in 2018. He does it out of the kindness of his heart with the families of the victims in mind. When family members start calling him, and I feel that that's who I'm doing this for. I didn't say that I can afford to do this, but I'm doing it just because they've asked me. And it wasn't just visitors at the sign. Survivors and locals were stopping by to pay their respects. And I've been giving hugs and receiving hugs from strangers all day long. Denise Robertson lost her own son to gun violence. She says his soul brings her here to comfort the families of those who paid the ultimate price on 1 October. And it's just giving me just a, pe a peacefulness, you know, and it's, and it's a joy to give back to a stranger that to give the love and the hug that I feel through my son, the loss of him. And the plan is now that the, that the crosses will be moved tomorrow morning. The county tells me tonight that given the pede pedestrian safety issues, high traffic volume and the limited parking here, those are all factors that really make the welcome to Las Vegas sign not a good spot for these crosses. Again, this is according to the county and they say they know this because this is the same place that those crosses were uh, put here last year as well. The county also says they've made multiple attempts to reach out to Greg, but they have not heard back. I'm Austin Carter reporting live on the Strip tonight, 13 Action News. Austin, thank you.